Welcome to a new video series on my channel. I am TW1 After Dark, and in this video series, we're going to be highlighting some different games in the adult industry for you guys to check out. Maybe you're like me, maybe you're an NL NLT Media Patreon, and you're a big fan of his work. And he does upload twice a month with different updates. But you might be wanting a little bit more. Hopefully in this series I can find something that you enjoy to play alongside his games. And if not, it's still worth having a little check out to see what is about in this industry. The first game up in this series is going to be Third Crisis. The public release is 0.40. And I think for a game that's at 4.0... It's big. I mean, it's seriously big. I think 50 hours plus big and a game that you're really, really going to enjoy. They seem to be adding a lot to this game. I'm not talking about monthly updates. I think it's around every month to two months they put out an update for this game. But when they put out an update, it is quite sizable and it is well worth playing again. Third Crisis is a tactical RPG adult game that follows the adventurer known as vibe. The intro to the story is a mission. The mission will go wrong and she is then forced to adjust to new life in a new way in a lost ridden town on Seisenberg. Whether she gives in to the bliss of the mission or uses her sexual appeal to her advantage on the battlefield is all up to you. As you delve deeper into the Kaisenberg's mysteries, you'll come to uncover the secrets surrounding the crisis that saw humanity defeated and enslaved by the sinister organization Pietro. That is probably a good little tease for what the game is um, the best way I can without revealing too much of the story or ruining anything for you. It is a female perspective, female protagonist game known as Vibe is the main hero. There are other characters you can control on the tactical battlefield, but they are not characters that you can use in a protagonist setting. So you're probably wondering what is this tactical battlefield like? Now let's pull up a clip so I can show you a little bit about that. What you've got here is a turn-based RPG if I'm honest. You've got to move, you've got special abilities, or you can attack. The obviously your objective is to kill all your enemies and without taking any damage. You can stun your enemies, attack them, move away, and things like that and then your enemies have different special abilities they have grenades for example or they have shields for example and little bits like that and you have to react to the the, the battlefield as you play along there are other characters that you get during your fighting times but i haven't got any clips of those because i don't want to reveal any of the story in that sense um but they do bring new mechanics to the gameplay it's actually quite important to master those mechanics as well and then when you think you've mastered the basic mechanics, the game will throw you boss fights. And the boss fights have different mechanics or other little things that you've then got to learn and master. And they are a lot of fun. But I can see some of you guys already panicking that you don't really want to worry about the fighting. You don't really want to do this. You just want to skip and get to the good stuff. Don't worry, there is an option for you. All you have to do is go to the settings and turn on auto win. And you will automatically win all of the fights. And that will take away some of that struggle for some of you guys who just don't really want to have the ordeal with the gameplay. Now, when I say this game is quite big and there is a lot to it, I mean it. I mean, there are little side quests to go earn some money. With that money, you can buy outfits. That is going to give you the ability to have dress up. There is also a thing for lore. That's right. Fallout style lore is in this game. You can go through the lore tab. You can learn about all of the enemies, all of your weapons, all of your uh, allies. Every single character in the game has a lore page. It is a massive game in that sense. And it has a really good fun story in that sense. If you really want to go through, read all the lore, learn about this atmosphere, learn about the world that you're in, you really can get immersed in that. There are also other little mechanics in the game. Of course, there is money and there is a rating called perversion. As you increase your perversion, you'll be able to wear different outfits, skimp your outfits, not wearing certain items, etc, etc. And there is also a health bar. You need to have uh, an armor stat. There is an attack stat. 
There's other little things like that throughout the game that for you to learn. Also, your clothes can get ripped, your clothes can get wet, and other little things throughout the game that I want you guys to go off and explore. I don't want to talk too much about. And there are scenes. Yes, there are adult scenes in this game, and there is a lot of them. 198 at the moment as well as a menu little mini game called Spit Roast. You're gonna work what that, that one out is. As well as a little scene player where you have control. So it's a little bit of a sandbox mode as well, where you can do some simulation stuff, sandbox stuff, which for some people I know is a lot of fun. There is also hidden items to go around and collect. So if you're a fan of NLT games and you want some hidden items to go find, this game has got you covered as well in that sense. And that is all I want to really say to you guys about the crisis. Go give it a go. It's by Hando Games. I will have a link to the itch.io in my descriptions. Go check it out. Go have a little look. Go have a little bit of a Google as well. There are plenty of scenes out there on certain sites that you can go watch. To learn about the animations as well so you can see if it is going to be your vibe or not. But just give it a chance. Give it a chance. It's free. It's a free download. It can be played in the browser as well for free from the, uh, from the official place as well. And they're very happy for you to do that. This is not sponsored. I'm just going to say that straight away. Not sponsored at all. It's just me talking about a game that I think a lot of you guys will like. And hopefully this is a new series that you'll like as well as we highlight some other games for you guys to check out. If you've made it to this part of the video, thank you very much. Hit like, hit subscribe as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you've got any other recommendations for games for me to check out, drop them in the comments below. And as always, peace out.